who gave who what like where did the where did the music come from where did the lyrics come from um did did they work together on any part of that um did they change you know did did the beat get sent from the producer to the to the artist and then the artist wrote lyrics but then did the artist actually go back to the producer and say can you change this thing or can you change that thing like what roles did they have in the songwriting first you know and what were I asked them both, like, what are your expectations? You know, if you wrote the lyrics and you you wrote the music, is the understanding here that you're going to split the music publishing on a 50-50 basis? Um, and luckily, in this case, they were both like, yes. Um, but that, I think, is, you know, that's a risky, that's a risky question for, for some, um, especially if you don't understand, like, how music publishing works and how splits work. And that the producer, um, the a producer who has who has just written an underlying beat really doesn't have the ability to make a case for owning more than 50 percent of the song right likewise an artist who's writing the lyrics if they're not actually collaborating with the producer on the underlying music they they don't have a claim at least based on what i just said on more than 50 percent of the music publishing so you kind of have to understand like what the practice is and mm -hmm. then talk about talk with each other about who did what and use that understanding of the practice and compare it to who did what to actually end up with splits that everyone is comfortable with right so what you're saying and then from what i've seen is just it typically you know the production the producer you know whoever composes the music gets 50 percent of the publishing and then the lyrics, whoever's writing this, the writing the the lyrics is fifty percent of the publishing. Um, it, it may change if the artist is part of the production piece. You know, is helping the producer, kind of coaching them. Because I've seen an I've seen situations where artists they can't make the beat themselves, but they're basically telling the producer like he's they're sitting like literally sitting in the studio telling the producer what to do. And he's basically constructing the beat for him. So that in that situation, there might be a case for mm -hmm. more than percent. But even in that case, I think they just decided to do, you know, 50 50 on, on the publishing side. So did they talk on on the master side? What was the agreement um, in terms of any percentage split on on the master side? Was that part of this discussion? It was. And, and the way that I dealt with that was to ask them, you know, what, what the expectations were in terms of how it was going to be released. Mm. And, and what I mean by that is, is the artist going to release this track? Are, you know, do they have, you know, do they have the distro kid set up or do they have TuneCore or, you know, how is this music going to actually reach the marketplace via distribution? And is the artist going to be in charge of the marketing? Is the artist going to be paying that money? Because if the artist is doing that, then I think that there's a really good argument that they should own the master outright. And that the producer then um, is undertaking the role kind of traditionally, you know, that we would look upon a producer as having, where they share in a piece of the record royalty that the artist would receive or they share in this case because it's an indie thing they share in a percentage of the artist's revenue in connection with that track mm -hmm. um and this i think again can be super confusing for the producer because they're like wait i own that because i created that recording i created that master when i created the the underlying music when i created the beat and i've seen some beat leases recently that have really made me crazy because they took those rights away from the artist mm -hmm. um and and i you know you know i want to say to the artist like you know you you know if if the expectation is that you're putting the track out that your name is going to be on it and you are the one spending the money taking the risk then you are the one who should have the ownership um doesn't mean that you know at the same time that the producer can't actually expect to get a piece of that Right. But certainly not, you know, certainly not even 50 percent. 